Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change a speed controller. For those of you that don't know and are a bit afraid of delving into the electronics. So first you've got to cut off the heat shrink like this. Be careful you're not going to hit any of the electrical components below the heat shrink. Just take that off. And then you want to desolder the wires off the solder pads. You want to set your soldering iron to about 380 degrees centigrade. Then you grab your new speed controller and wrap it in tape. What this is going to do is it's going to protect the speed controller when you clamp it with the crocodile clamps. Then remove the cables that come on the speed controller. Retin all of the joints. Make them look nice and shiny. And then you want to carefully solder back all of the connecting wires onto their locations. Once you've done that, remove the tape around the speed controller and then put the heat shrink back over, making sure that it's that you're exposing the pads for the motor to get soldered on. Solder on the motor. Put the heat shrink over the speed controller and I sometimes use cardboard to put underneath the carbon because if you're going to shrink that heat shrink on top of the carbon, you'll weaken the carbon with the heat of the heat gun. So just put the cardboard there to protect the carbon fiber arm. And then get a bit of tape. And then use that tape to secure the speed controller to the arm. Done.